Crows are super smart birds, part of the corvid family, which also includes jays, ravens, rooks, and magpies. Among them, the New Caledonian crow is like the brainiac of the group. Scientists did cool experiments to see just how clever these crows are. In one test from 2014, they gave the crows tubes with water and treats just above the water level. The crows couldn't reach the treats, so they dropped rocks into the water to lift the level and grab the treats. Smart, right? They also pick sinking objects and drop things into tubes with more water for faster rewards. Scientists say their skills are similar to five to seven year old kids. But hold on, the crows struggled with some tricky tasks, like understanding wide versus narrow tubes or reward hidden in a tube with a twist. Human kids around eight years old did better on these tests. Still, crows can do amazing stuff, like building tools. Yep, you heard it right. These crows can put sticks together to make tools with different parts. Even some great apes can do that. And get this, crows might be great at planning for the future. Not many animals can do that, not even some grown-up humans. In a study from 2020, crows remembered tools they needed for a task after a break. They also chose better rewards over instant ones, showing patience. Even five-year-old kids struggle with that sometimes. It seems crows are not just smart for birds, but on par with some really clever primates. Now, why are crows so brainy? Let's dive into bird brains. Birds and mammals split from each other a long time ago, like 320 million years. Mammals, including us, have a cerebral cortex, a super complex brain part. Birds don't have that, but their brain structure is similar to ours in some ways. According to a study from 2020, scientists used to think small brains meant less smarts, but not true. It's about how many neurons you pack in. Crows have lots of neurons tightly packed, even more than some primates with similar sized brains. So, their brain size isn't the only reason for their intelligence. Here's an interesting twist. How crows grow up might be the secret sauce. Unlike some birds, crows stick around with their parents for a while. For example, New Caledonian crows get food from their folks for up to two years. This family time lets them learn skills and tricks from their experienced parents. While adult crows don't hang out much socially, young crows form groups, sort of like teenager gans. They fight, play, and make friends. Social smarts, maybe. And here's a wild thing, some crows even interact with other animals, like wolves. They play games and might even team up for scavenging. People are so impressed with crows that they're trying to team up with them for a good cause. Imagine training crows to pick up trash. Some companies are making devices to teach crows to clean up, and it's happening in a theme park in France too. So, crows are not just bird brains. They're like the Einstein of the bird world. Their intelligence might be different from ours, but it sure makes them some of the coolest birds around. In summary, crows, especially the New Caledonian crow, showcase incredible intelligence through experiments. They excel in problem solving, tool building, and even future planning, resembling the cognitive abilities of young human children. Examining bird brains, despite lacking a cerebral cortex, crows impress with densely packed neurons and a unique brain structure. Evolutionary factors, extended parenting, and social dynamics among young crows contribute to their intelligence. The potential collaboration between humans and crows for tasks like trash cleanup underscores the practical implications of understanding avian intelligence. The parallel paths of human and corvid intelligence provide an intriguing narrative in our ongoing exploration of the animal mind.